Welcome to a Now Explain Rough Cut video. This video is part of our manual bookkeeping series. You can find related videos on our YouTube channel or search the internet for a Now Explain Rough Cut. So now, let's get explaining. Petty Cash Daybook. What it is and why we need this daybook. Manual bookkeeping. This is pen and paper bookkeeping. We're using daybooks the books of original entry, also known as first entry or prime entry day books. We are collecting information from the source documents. What is a day book? A day book is a list of your transactions, invoices, payments, written down in sequence in a book. In days of old, this was done daily. Each day, sales are written into a book, so we get the term day book. Related day books, the purchase invoice day book. Similar related terms used, suppliers, cash purchases, creditors, vendors, cash checks, impress system. A day book imagined by you. What a modern day book looks like. Petty cash day book. A day book for small value, petty, purchases usually paid for in cash. Not to be confused with cash purchases and no credit purchases. Instead of filling up the purchase invoice day book with small transactions, it is easier to manage small purchases by having cash readily available to pay out. A red analysis book. They don't have to be read. This book has seven analysis columns. 11 analysis columns is usually enough. If you need more than 11 columns, then you need to review what you are putting through as petty, small value purchases. Inside an empty petty cash day book. Example of a petty cash day book, an 11 column book, which has room for expansion. Let us see how this till receipt, which we got when we bought some items in the local shop, will be dealt with. The petty cash voucher, also known as a petty cash docket. We complete a petty cash voucher like that shown here. We will staple the till receipt to this voucher. This petty cash voucher will be recorded in our petty cash daybook. Note, see the video on using the impress system for managing petty cash. So in this case, John requested the cash and Mary approved the payment to him. Here is where our petty cash details are recorded. Here is the petty cash with the daybook entry side by side. You can see the information taken from the petty cash voucher. The reference number, the folio number, how much was given out in petty cash, what it was for, tea bags of milk, the date of this petty cash transaction, explanation of the petty cash daybook columns, the date, the date the petty cash was claimed, the details, what was purchased, reference number or folio number, the petty cash voucher number, all vouchers should be numbered in sequence, total, the total cash paid out, VAT, any VAT that may be claimable on the items bought, net, the value before VAT if any of the VAT can be claimed back, explanation of petty cash daybook columns. These next five columns, travel, repair, stationery, canteen, cleaning. In this example, these are the type of expenses we used when analysing how the petty cash money was spent. Each business will have its own petty cash analysis columns to suit their business. Totaling these columns, each column that contains values must be totaled. By totaling each column, this allows us to see what the total petty cash purchases are for the day, week, month. In this example, we are seeing the monthly amount spent and what it was spent on. This petty cash day book lists the five petty cash dockets for the month of January. Why can't we just have a total column? Because the total columns shows you how much petty cash was spent. The total of the VAT column will be used in the calculation of your VAT return. The analysis, analysis columns show you what the cash was spent on. 
And that's how you set up a petty cash daybook and why the petty cash daybook is set up as shown using these columns. The date, the description, the reference number or folio, total, VAT, net, analysis columns, five were used in this example. More columns can be added to provide more analysis for items purchased using petty cash. Thank you for watching. 